for the Lord. Be strong, be stout-hearted, and wait for the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, perseverance in obeying your will, that in our days the people dedicated to your service may grow in both merit and number. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Numbers. From Mount Or, the children of Israel sought out on the Red Sea Road to bypass the land of Edom. But with their patience, worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us from Egypt to die in this desert, where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people seraph serpents, which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord in you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents away from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole, and whoever looks at it after being bitten will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer, let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call. Answer me speedily. O Lord, o Lord hear my prayer, prayer, and let my cry come to you. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory, when the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory. The Lord, hear my prayer, let my cry come to you. When he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer, let this be written for the generation to come, and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height, and from heaven he behold the earth to hear the groan of the prisoners, to release these doomed to die. O oh Lord, hear my prayer, let my cry come to you. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am going away and you will look for me, but you will die in your sin. 
Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, He is not going to kill himself, is he? Because he said, Where I am going, you cannot come. He said to them, You belong to what is below. I belong to what is above. You belong to this world, but I do not belong to this world. That is why I told you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, What I told you from the beginning. I have much to say about you in condemnation, but the one who sent me is true, and what I heard from him I tell the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them of the Father. So Jesus said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am, and that I do nothing on my own, but I say only what the Father taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, because I always do what is pleasing to him. Because he spoke this way, many came to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Welcome back as we celebrate our Tuesday Mass in this fifth week of Lent. Only days now before Palm Sunday begins and great opportunity again as we stop and spend some time reflecting on the scriptures, asking our Lord to speak to us in our hearts. And uh, of course we have this passage that reminds us of our Lord's identity and of course therefore our own identity, our relationship with God. God's incredible love for us and his desire for us um, to recognize that love, to know that love, to live that love. And in this passage, we continue to see how our Lord sent, how our Heavenly Father sent Jesus into this world to lead us back to him and to save us from sin. Um, But I think very frequently we think that he was sent alone. And this passage reminds us that's not true at all. Jesus makes it very clear that he's never alone, and his Father's always with him at every moment. And so it's a good opportunity for us to realize that indeed through the waters of baptism, as we are united with our Lord Jesus, we too are never alone. Our Heavenly Father also is with us at every moment. And here's a story to help illustrate that truth. There was a young woman named Emily. Her brother Dennis had grown um, serious ill, and he had been estranged from his family and was living in the rundown section of Las Vegas. And of course, his family longed to see him. And so Emily and her mother constantly worried and prayed about, uh, prayed for him. And um, they didn't know how to contact him. They only simply knew that he was someplace in Las Vegas. Well, Emily heard that one of her dear friends, Nina, was planning to visit Las Vegas. So she asks Nina, Nina, could you look up my brother, try to find him for us, Dennis? And uh, it was a lot to ask. But Nina was up for the task. She went. Uh, She did her business while she was in town. And in the evening, she went driving through some rough sections of the city with the leads that she was given to try to find him. She almost turned around after being in one uh, seedy neighborhood. Uh, But she kept at it. Um, And she kept praying, asking for Lord's protection and uh, continued looking for Dennis. And... uh, as she got out of her car and began to ask people where she might find him, um, she felt a gentle nudging of the Holy Spirit to be persistent, to not give up, to continue to try to find Dennis. And each person indeed led her a little bit closer, and uh, in the end she found Dennis. And amazingly, he actually welcomed her. I was very happy to see her. Now Nina's visit with Dennis was a blessing for both of them. She told him how much his family loved him and how much they longed to reconnect with him. She took a picture of him and they exchanged phone numbers. Ultimately, the relationship between Dennis 
and his family was restored. And uh, which just ended up being a few months before both he and his mother died. Just as he did with Nina, God will be with you in whatever work that he gives you to do, whatever your mission may be today. You might not always see the fruit of your efforts, but you can always trust that God is with you, that he is protecting you, and he gives you every grace that you need. Heavenly Father, I believe that you are with me as I do the work you have sent me to do. That the church may continue to be purified and sanctified to the grace and mercy of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That national and international leaders may be empowered by the Holy Spirit, serving their people as Christ came to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That those who have turned from God may receive Him may, may receive from Him the grace of conversion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That this Lenten season may be a time of growing in the gifts God has given us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who have died may be united with Christ in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And as we pray for our, our beloved dead, let us remember especially Rita Petrovitz for whom we offer this Mass. May she enjoy eternal light and peace and happiness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, in whom we live and move and have our very being, grant us every petition we ask for in faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. In the name of this one, I bring us to share in Christ again. I take myself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to be pleased with the sacrifice of our blood country returns. O Lord, wash away the iniquities of us. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. The Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of the state, for our God and the good of all, his holy church. We offer, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, that being moved to compassion, we may both pardon our offenses and direct our wavering hearts through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks. As an exaltation, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John Folda, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Corpus Christi, custodia mei in vita eterna. Amen. Salus Christi, custodia mei in vita
When I lift it up from the earth, I will draw all to myself, says the Lord. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that ever seeking what is divine, we may always be worthy to approach these heavenly gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking to lose souls.